Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. So today we are packing for our first beach vacation of the summer. If you guys follow along our vlog channel, you know we're going down to Florida. And we're very excited about it. And I think for most girls, what happens before a trip, you end up doing just like the most excessive amount of online shopping ever. Um, and that's exactly what I did. As you can see, all of the stuff that I've accumulated, obviously um, a lot of this stuff I have had over time, like I've pulled things from my closet too, but I've gotten so much stuff for summer. Um, a lot of things that I plan on wearing throughout the summer. So I feel like this is a really good kickoff point for like a full summer wardrobe and like things that I'm getting. It's a mix. I have everything down from like Shein bathing suits all the way up to um, like a designer bag that I'm investing in. So we've got like a huge range. Zara, Urban Outfitters, Mango, um, Windsor, like literally some small niche brands, just a lot of different stuff, Amazon. So I just thought I was packing and I'm like, I have everything out here. I might as well show you guys all the stuff that I have been buying lately for summer. So really, really fun stuff, color neutrals, all things like that. I'm gonna keep this vlog, this, uh, not vlog, this haul very casual. I have no makeup on, I just got out of the shower, my hair's wet, but um, you know what, I was like, I'm not doing the whole fancy haul thing right now. And honestly, for like trying on clothes and stuff, I was like, it's better not to have makeup on anyways, so I don't get makeup on everything. So I'm sorry, but you're getting just like no makeup, no hair, it's fine. It's, it's okay though, we're just getting in the nitty gritty and really looking at everything. So let's just get started. First of all, I've been really into colorful accessories. Obviously, as you guys know, colors so in. So um, I really wanted a crochet bucket hat. It's kind of a trend right now. So I went on Amazon and actually found this one. Um, it's crochet blue, which is really fun. And it came with this weird fringe on it, but I just cut the fringe off and I was like, you know what? I don't wanna spend a bunch of money on a designer bucket hat because I probably will only wear the bucket hat like a few times and it's not really, it's just more of like a fun trendy item. So that's what I did, Amazon for bucket hats. Let's just start with swim. We'll start with swim. Okay. So a few things. I'm trying to see what you guys haven't seen yet. So I actually never shop on Shein, but I saw my friend Shannon Ford actually bought some swimsuits on there and they looked really good. And I was like, okay, hold on a second. I need to get on Shein and get some swimsuits. So I went on there. Um, obviously it's kind of hit or miss. So I'll show you guys the ones that were good. First off is this black and white one. It's really pretty. It is like a cross chest type of style. Really flattering. I'm not gonna try the swim on because it just makes me nervous on the internet. It's so nice. Well, gosh, now I feel like I have to try on this one because you're not gonna really see it unless I do. Okay, I'll try it on. Fine, fine, fine. Let me be right back. Okay, so here is that first bathing suit. See, really pretty, very cheeky, which I love, but the top is just gorgeous. And honestly, this would be a really cute top to wear with like pants or something else. It's beautiful. So, okay, here's the uh, Emirata kind of knockoff, I guess you could say. So flattering and pretty. I think it's so nice. Um, definitely cheeky bottom, but I love the colors, the wrap top. I feel like it's so flattering. The print is very on trend. It is, yeah, I just love it so much. I'm obsessed with orange right now and this blue. So it's really, really good fit. Fits really nicely. Again, I'm wearing a medium. Um, okay, what's the next one from Shein? I want oh, this one was so cute and this one, okay. Hold up, wait a minute. Also from Shein, this one I think might be my favorite. The reason I love it is because it looks like a very vintage style and I was like not sure if it was gonna fit really well but it fits so nicely. It is like a black kind of crinkle material with this really cute girly kind of eyelet lining and then it has these little daisy charms and it fits so nicely. The straps are adjustable, it is just really, I was really pleasantly surprised with it. Ow, shoot. 
And I also, you know what would be so cute over this is I got this little crochet two-piece set. It's a halter and a skirt, which is so in right now. And I feel like this would look really cute over like black. So swim skirts are really popular. Just kind of wearing like a little terry cloth or crochet skirt over your swimsuit. You could like pull up the bottoms if you wanted, kind of like let it hang low on your hips. Um, or you could pull it up wear it high waisted over and then also wear the matching halter. And I saw that this comes in a bunch of different colors. I got, again, a medium. I always do medium in their stuff because I just never know. And like, how cute is that little set? Especially just like right over a little bikini. It's so adorable. Um, yeah, I just wanna confirm. You know what, I'll just put all the sizes. Oh no, I got a small in this, okay. So I'll just put all the sizes um, next to the links in the description box. So if you forget what I say for sizing, just look down there. And if I say something wrong, I'll have the exact size that I ordered down there that'll be like the final. But so, so cute. And I love this. You could also really style these as little, um, like actual clothing if you did like undergarments it's just adorable but as a pool set i love it i think it's adorable okay this one i love this is also from shein if you guys follow along my normal hauls you'd see that i got another little set like nasty gal uh, or from nasty gal like this which i also love and i'm bringing with me on vacation um it's really cute it's like red but it's the same concept these little three-piece sets are really in so you've got the bottoms and then the top and a matching little like mesh sarong and it's just the easiest cutest little pool look you don't really have to think about it um or beach look sorry and it you can kind of cover up a little bit more if you want but yeah it's just a really really nice vibe i really like this trend i think it's maybe kind of like an i don't know if it's 70s 80s or 90s i feel like all of the eras are kind of in right now but so cute and colorful the colors are really nice too and it looks super expensive fits really nicely and um cheeky most of them are cheeky high-waisted it's just beautiful so i love that you could also pull you could also pull this off and wear it as like a headscarf if you wanted to with like hoops you know options are endless but the three-piece sets are like so fun and this pattern i feel like they're really good at like knocking off designer stuff and I feel like this looks like a designer bathing suit. Last like really good one from Shein was this neon green one piece. This is kind of like a knockoff of that brand Hunza G if you guys know that. Now the only thing I don't like about this, it fits really nicely, really well, but the butt is really wide cut and that is not my personal preference, but I know a lot of people like that kind of wide full coverage. I would prefer it to be more like this and then a little cheeky in the back but i can't get the hunza g one because it is sold out so i thought this would be a good option and then i plan on doing something like a big white shirt over it with some cool sunglasses necklaces and it's like a really really easy fast pool look so i feel like this is one of my best finds from amazon i was literally just stumbling on amazon i'm always looking for things on there but you guys know it's, it's really hard to find good things on amazon you know and i saw this and i was like okay this looks like a little mix of poochie it also looks like this really up and coming designer allison lou or balu i think and I was like, this looks just like it. I think it was like under $25. And the reviews, like everyone looked incredible in the suit. And it comes in like a lot of different variations of colors. It's very like 80s, very on trend. And I was like, this is perfect. So I don't want to spend a ton of money on like a really expensive trendy item. So I was curious how it was going to fit. And it fits incredible, you guys. Like so flattering. I mean, look at this. It's amazing from Amazon, okay? And then they've got a lot of different, it's the same pattern, but they have like a pink version, a yellow, an orange, purple, like whatever you like. I really like these colors, um, but it's insane. So I would snatch this one piece up. It is so cute. And then again, well, you could do, oh, this is also from Amazon actually. This men's green oversized 
button up shirt so I've really been looking for one of these and they're sold out everywhere because Kendall Jenner kind of wore this like green Zara shirt that kind of looks like it and so you can't find them anywhere um, and so I was like you know what I'll just get a men's one on Amazon and it's the exact same vibe um, I probably wouldn't wear it with this actually, but so I would wear it over swim or whatever. I think I'm going to wear it over, over an orange suit and it's perfect. You can also style it with like jeans and stuff like that, but comes in a million colors and it's just like a really good basic. So I'll just throw the white one over just so you can get another idea, but cute, right? Necklaces, some sandals. It's just like. This is like the go-to for summer for me are these big shirts. Um, you could maybe do the bucket hat, but I might just get a little crazy. Let's see. I mean, it's kind of a vibe. Maybe not with the shirt. I don't know. Kind of cute actually, but you get the, you get the picture. Okay, this one is from Urban Outfitters from their Out From Under line and this suit is amazing. Um, so I do medium in my swim bottoms and small on top. So this is literally the most comfortable bathing suit ever. It literally feels amazing. Um, it's so nice. I love the really bright lime. You can see that it's more of like a yellow lime compared to this one is more of like a neon apple green and this is like a citrus yellow uh lime so i love it so flattering and i think it comes in like neutral colors so this would be like a really good good quality flattering bathing suit from urban amazing fits so well okay this gem of a swimsuit is from windsor and i've said this before on my channel windsor has some of the best affordable swim ever and the designs are really beautiful um this kind of ring style is very popular right now um so it's kind of coming back and this is like a chocolate brown now this is literally like such a flattering suit i i love the ring detail but that it's with like a chocolate neutral so it doesn't feel too intense or crazy like it's it's kind of nice for the pool too it's like an accessory it's definitely like very girly but really beautiful i love how it like sits on the hips um i'm wearing a small and top and bottom in this and the straps are adjustable so that's really nice but really cute i feel like this is like more of a glam option but you can wear it just simple with not much um accessories and it's so pretty next we've got a pile of things from Urban Outfitters. So I'm just going to put them right here. The first being these are really comfy, just kind of like lounge summer sweat shorts. I love these. They fit amazing. Um, I'm in a size small. They're also from their Out From Underline, which is clearly really cute, but perfect to just throw on with like swim, sports bra for travel, just like an everyday comfy basic. Um, and I like that they're not too long and they're also not too short because sometimes with these types of shorts, it can be hard to like find the right fit. Really cute. Um, and then, this is convenient, having like a bathing suit on <laughs> during your try on haul. I also picked out a pair of denim shorts from BDG. And these are so cute, high-waisted kind of cuffed up and let's see could you uncuff them if you wanted to but they're kind of that perfect length um i always go up a size door two in the uh, denim shorts so i'm wearing like a tough size 25 jean and these are a 27 because i don't like like super tight fitted shorts you know like you want them to be kind of loose and relaxed but this is kind of like that perfect high-waisted style um, and I like the cuff. I think that's really cute. No distressing, perfect medium wash, really good summer basic. Um, and then these are BDG denim. They are like that perfect beigey color, like ecru, I guess you would say. And they fit so nicely. These I got my normal size 25 because for this style jean, I prefer it to be more fitted. Um, perfectly high at the waist, some distressing, and kind of a wide 
not wide leg, but you know, I guess like straight leg we'll say. Really cute with heels and like a crop top or a tank tucked in. But this beige color is really, really hard to find in this style of denim. And this is just such a cute summer jean to wear with white. Um, they're also a nice length. They're a little bit long on me because I'm only 5'2", but if I wear them with heels, they'll, they'll be perfect. I could also just scrunch them up with jeans, but they're really, really cute. I love them even with this little top and like, honestly, let's see. I could do just like a blazer and like a heel with the little crop top. I mean, I'm sorry, do you know what I mean? Hold on, you need to see this a second, but there we go. Kind of get the idea. I mean, dinner look, bam. So cute, a white pump. These are actually from Schutz. I also recently got these and I've been wearing them nonstop. I pointy toed heels are coming back in style and I didn't really own any. I was like, I need these and I really wanted a white pair. The Schutz ones look really expensive. They look like a designer pair, but they're like one, a little over a hundred. Such good quality and I cannot stop wearing them. They look so good with everything. I'm obsessed with them. Um, so yeah, this is an old uh, Zara blazer. I got it last summer, so I can't like it. I'm sorry, but they have things similar like it. Zara basically just like remakes the same stuff over and over again. So they have stuff just like this. The best oversized blazers ever. Okay, so you get it. This is so super cute. I thought this print was really fun, especially for a tropical vacation. This is like a sweatshirt romper with these like lime Hawaiian flowers on it. I don't know if you guys have seen Hailey Bieber kind of rocking some of this Hawaiian flower style. And I kind of love it. I think it's fun for summer, you know, within reason. But I think like if this were buttoned up, like I would just wear this as like pajamas, like around the house with like slides. It is so comfortable. It's literally like a blanket, you guys. And it's actually kind of cute. I think it comes in solid patterns. So if you're not wanting to do like the trendy colorful thing, um, I think it comes in like more tame like patterns, but so comfortable. This is like the perfect item to wear around the house on vacation. It's like literally just like pajamas, but it's a little bit more pulled together. It's so cute actually. Um, I know it's not like, it's, it's kind of just random, but I think it's like fun. It's just like one of those really chill pieces, almost like a hoodie or something, you know what I mean? Oh wow, this is actually really cute. Okay. Okay, this little set is from Urban. This is so comfortable. Um, I kind of feel like I'm straight out of a 70s movie, but it's cute, like just to lounge around in, um, pajamas, comfies, so fun. I actually like the two little colors on the side, but it's still neutral. It's actually really, really flattering, the little shorts and the top. You could easily like, break these up into separates, but you could again like do more of an oversized thing with it layer like a bunch of necklaces and then just wear like some slides and it's like kind of a chill you know going around outfit if you feel comfortable in crop top and like biker shorts basically okay and i think this is the last thing from urban this is so cute it's like a little summer dress with pockets which is amazing it fits insane you guys like so flattering up here it's really nice tiny little band at the back with a little cutout. It's not like overly tight, um, fits just so well. It has this little like kind of faded vintage print on it. It says like Paris, but it is so cute and really comfortable. I feel like we always need really comfortable dresses. Oh my God, this like fits way better than I thought. This is the first time I've tried it on. Sorry, I keep tripping over these. Oh, but, um, yeah, like amazing. What I'm gonna do now is really quickly do some shoes and just break up the clothing a little bit. We'll have more clothes in a second. 
but the shoes i have so many good shoes that well heels specifically some flats um that i've been obsessed with and i'm really into colorful like accessories and just like pops of color i mostly dress pretty neutral but for the most part for summer i think color is so fun and just like kind of building neutral outfits with like pops of color for swim i'm kind of going like crazy with it and having fun because like why not swim is just it's like not nerve-wracking and it's it's fun um so I've gotten so many colorful heels. Um, the first, well, I can start with the neutrals. Okay, so first of all are these like Yeezy dupe slides that I'm obsessed with um, from Amazon. And I wear them every day, you guys. Like literally no joke, every single day. I love them. They're so comfortable, worth it. And at first I wasn't really sure if I liked the slides, like that style. And then I was like, the more I started seeing them, I was like, I, they're kind of a vibe like with the leggings and biker biker shorts they are so cute so i just got some like knockoffs and i'm so happy with them i love them um i also which i showed these a while ago on my instagram these balenciaga flats which i really wanted some pool slides again that were i wanted like one nice pair that was like a de designer pair that would kind of elevate all of like my casual looks i originally got them with the white balenciaga and um i had to send them back because they were too small and i needed a bigger size and when i sent them back i saw the green and i was like the green is so cool and would just be so fun and i have like other neutral slides i can wear these are still neutral to me and just like a little pop of green i thought was so cute so i love these i got those from farfetch and those are my more casual um now for bright heels well I'll stick with neutrals first. So these are like my favorite find, okay, you guys? These are heels from Boohoo. And the reason these are so amazing is because I actually really wanted this pair from this company in LA called um, Femme LA. And I'll put the maybe picture of the heel up here if I can remember. And they're like 200 bucks, I think. And I ordered them. They didn't come in time for my trip. So I was looking for a pair that was really similar, that was affordable. These are like $20. The perfect minimal heel with a pointy toe. You guys, I'm going to wear these all summer long. Like every dinner look that I like go to, I you just like need a white heel. And I'm telling you, I scoured the internet for white heels. And this is the best you're going to find. And I'm telling you, and it's under $30. So get them while you can. They're so pretty. I'm going to be wearing them my whole trip. And it's just hard to find heels that are not super like strappy and have like all the stuff going on. These are just like really simple and they actually cross over um, on top of the foot. But I just rearranged the straps like I pulled them out, pulled them back. And so that they're just like a really simple style. So when you click on them on the website, you'll see the crossover, but they're really cute. Obviously, I also got the Schutz pointy toe, which give a totally different look. Um, any color of these honestly they're incredible they're such a good heel they're amazing a little bit pricier but i feel like for a point toe you have to spend a little bit more or it can look like kind of cheap and a little ugh. so i would get like spend a little bit more on if you're going to go for this pump style because they need to look like sophisticated or they could just look really tacky okay Next uh, discovery is Ego Shoes. Now, I'd heard of them before, but I saw when I was searching for colorful heels, I saw that they um, make a lot of like kind of dupes of like designer heels. Obviously, really wanted the Bottega Veneta heels, but I just didn't want to spend the money on the heels because I'm like, it just didn't feel right. I don't know. I was like, I'm not ready to do it, even though it is a very classic style, but this shape they pretty much duped it exactly it is such a nice height because it's only two maybe three inches and they're so perfect they're like the perfect Bottega dupe I think they're under 30 I would get them if they're still available because their stuff sells out so fast because they make really really good shoes for a really good price I also got these green ones from them and you're probably thinking like what the hell but these are actually another kind of replica of a very expensive designer pair now these are like just a really fun shoe so out of my box but i have a look planned for my vacation with these and you'll just see they're really fun they're kind of mod 60s 70s and you literally wear them with like an all neutral outfit and it's just like a pop of green and it's so fun at first i was like i don't know if i like those but then 
the more I saw them, I'm like, no, they're so sick and I need them. And they're just really cool. They come in pink, white, like so many colors. I love the green, but I just think they're really fun and so comfortable because they're like thick, you know? Um, also from Ego, I had to get orange. I basically just got one of every color heel from all these different places. I think this is the last Ego pair, but orange, simple, strappy, um, and really cute. I'm really into orange. I got orange on my nails for vacation. I love little pops of orange. So these are also like not like overly bright or anything. So they'll be really cute for just a little pop of color. Um, oh, I also, for another pair of green heels. So Ego actually makes these, they make these in other colors, but most of them were sold out. The black is such a good staple, but I really wanted the green. And so I actually ordered these off of Shein with my Shein order and they turned out really cute. The green is perfect um, and I'm really happy with them, honestly. So just for a green heel to like not spend a ton of money on anything bright, this looks just like the Bottega ones and I love them. I would say the Egos are a little bit better. So if you can get them, get your hands on them. But um, I don't think that, I think most of their colors are sold out, so you can only get like neutrals, but the Shein ones are really good too. I was actually surprised. I thought they were gonna be like really crappy, but they aren't. Um. Okay, last like colorful pair is from Zara, and this is just like a little yellow mule with, again, kind of like a medium heel height, which is really nice for summer, and the pastel yellow. I probably, like bright yellow, I don't know, but I have another outfit plan with these it's really cute and this yellow is really fun so i love those um okay the next few pairs are from asos um now i really was on the hunt for a gold pair of heels and came across these on asos these are again a i think they're kind of like a replica of a of a designer pair and they look pretty much just like it but i love the really dainty straps across the toe or across the foot they look so delicate and girly and then the gold metallic is so fun. I love them, they're so pretty on your feet and just like with jeans and like a tank, it's really cool. Um, and then also from ASOS, these just came in this morning, are these beautiful fuchsia satin point toe slingbacks with lace up. Again, another kind of designer style that's in and they're just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So point toe, I'm telling you. You're gonna start seeing it more. Um, okay, I love those. And then lastly is my Saint Laurent heels, which if you guys follow along our vlogs, you would have seen the whole adventure of these. And I finally got them in the right size. I went up to a 37 and a half. So I'm a size seven. They run, I would say half size small. So I got 37 and a half and they're really chunky platform wood with beige. You know, those would be perfect with this dress so cute and i just have been loving these they're like amazing they're they are definitely an investment they are not cheap um but you can kind of see my style like i if i'm ready to invest in something like i will you know pick out an item that i really love that's neutral and i know that i'll wear a lot but then if i want to do something fun and trendy like i'm going with the shein route do you see what I'm saying? So it's all about the balance of like knowing which ones that you're gonna wear a ton. Honestly, if I can find these in a designer pair, like this would be another good shoe to definitely invest in. Or it could have done the Bottega ones, like neutral, staple things that aren't really like overly trendy or gonna go out of style, I feel like are good things to pull the trigger on. So I just got in a really cute package from Windsor and some really, really good pieces from them. Um, oh, first are these two sunglasses, which are so good. Like, I'm kind of sunglass junkie, and I love them. So, first are these brown square pair, which I love. I love that the lenses are a little bit see-through because that's actually really hard to find, and I just needed a pair like that, so I was really happy. They're like under $10, and these are so sick. These look straight up like balenciaga and they're so flattering i they're just a really cool shape they're kind of a fusion between an oval and a cat eye which is so unique but sometimes i look like a weirdo in this style and th these just look really cool and they really fit i love them <sighs> okay i need some water i'm like 
is exhausting, you guys. Wow. First thing, clothing item from Windsor is this pair of flare tie-dye pants. Now, I know this seems a little crazy, but I... I thought these would be really cute with like a white long sleeve and just like a white heel a pair of hoops like kind of dressing them really simple um let me put them on and see how they fit and i'll show you guys what i mean so super comfy oh no hunter someone's at the door will you answer it so here are the pants um and really comfy, cute, like the tie-dye is really fun. And this is what I would do with it. So just like a really pretty kind of twisted off the shoulder top and maybe a white point toe pump. Um, I think I pull these down. But I probably would do Sphinx underneath this, but that's kind of like a cute dinner look. Do you see what I mean for like a pop of color? And then, um, Oh, my new Bottega bag, which I will show you guys in a second, but something kind of like this and then like some gold necklaces, I feel like is just like a really fun summer dinner look. But these are also really comfortable and you could just wear them around the house. They're literally like pajama material and you could wear them down easily. So I just liked the blue tie-dye. I thought it was like tasteful and really pretty. Okay, first of all, I have to give a little I forgot about my new jeans that I need to show you guys. So these are custom Levi's from Allie Grace. So her Instagram is shop Allie Grace. She will literally make any pair of Levi's that you want. You can do, I have a bunch of just like mom style denim from her. Um, she made me a pair of denim shorts that are literally perfect. Where are they? I think they're in the closet. Wait. Yeah, they're in the closet. But um, I really wanted this really cool baggy style denim for summer. It's like super in. And she made them perfect for me. So I sent her a picture and they turned out so well. She will take, like you give her all of your measurements and she'll make you anything. It's like actually amazing. So these are the jeans. I love them so much, highly recommend. I don't know why I haven't gotten custom denim before. I'm like, it's genius because you just give them what you want, give them your measurements, and then they fit you like to a T exactly how you want to, and you don't have to like search around for denim. Um, so yeah, that's nice, especially if you want like Levi's. Okay, so this is the first top from Windsor. It's so beautiful. It's like a, kind of that corset style um, with hooks going up the center. It fits amazing. The white is so pretty for summer. I would probably wear these, let's see what I do. Honestly, like this is kind of the blank slate, right? You can do like any color heel you want. I don't know if I would do the green with this, but maybe the orange. Orange. This is the moment to whip out the orange heel. I'm not going to like buckle them, but you can just get the idea. Ah, shit. Okay. You know, you see what I mean. But how cute. Like just a little pop of color, right? And then we would do maybe... I. Actually, recently just got this bag. This is by the Attico. I think it's sold out now. I love it though because it has all the colors in it. And then there you go. You got like your pop of orange and your little pop in your bag. And it's just like such a cool, cute outfit. You could, if you don't like the style, you could just do like a plain white tank if you want to play around with the colors. But it's so fun. So, okay. So this is a super cute. So. I think this is a, another like dupe of like a designer top, but obviously I need to steam this, but you guys, I wasn't even going to do this haul and I was like, you know what? I want them to see everything. I want you to be able to shop all this stuff. So I'm sorry. I didn't have time to like steam everything. So we're like, I literally need to be packing right now, but here I am <laughs> playing dress up. But how cool is this? Um, just with like a pair of high-waisted denim, so cute and pretty, really girly. And I love the wrap tie. I just think it's so fun. It's kind of like, it's fun to get, play around with different shapes. So like instead of just like a simple white blouse, having like something like the string adds a little bit more interest. And it just takes the outfit to the next level a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here for the bags because everything's right here. Okay, so um, the one bag that I really, really wanted to invest in this summer was a Bottega Bonita bag. 
and um, here you go. I really love this style. I had watched it for so long and I was really, really wanted it. It's called the Mini Jody, and it's kind of like more of a handheld bag, but fits like plenty. It's kind of like a mini bag. And I didn't pull the trigger and then it basically sold out in every color and I was like, shoot, I can't get it. So I actually worked with a personal shopper, um, PH Luxury. I'll put her handle down below and they can basically find and source any item for you that's sold out um and then you pay them like you know a fee to find it for you but if you really want it you can get it so that's what i did last year with like my chanel sandals and they found me the white mini jody so i love it you guys will be seeing this in so many outfits i literally am so happy with it and i'm glad it's a neutral color i thought that was the perfect one to kind of invest in um but i also have a dupe that i've been wearing so much that you guys need to get now um i obviously if i could buy every bottega bag i would but um they're obviously very expensive so i just wanted to this is the one that i really wanted to invest in however i did find a dupe of the chain style one on amazon and you guys this is like one of my best findings i think i have been wearing wearing it non-stop and it's literally i think it was like maybe 50 or 60 i mean i literally went to the mall the other day and these girls in one of the stores were like your bag is so beautiful and i was like okay i have to tell you like it's not real i just i like, couldn't i felt bad because i was like it's a dupe but um anyways that's how real it looks like they literally just like thought it was real so i'm obsessed um and this bag is so cool it's also Bottega Veneta and it's like 3000 but this dupe, literally it looks just like it. I've seen the bag in person and I know. So you're welcome. Great Amazon find. Um, some other Amazon finds. This also a little Bottega kind of dupe and in this citrus color, which I ugh, wanted so badly. I'm always so drawn to this color and I found this on Amazon The Drop. It is so cool. It actually comes with a really big strap if you want to wear it crossbody but i just like it as like a dumpling pouch for dinner if you want to do you know your trendy kind of colors um but it also comes in like neutral colors too so another really good dupe fine but the the chain version i love and then the plain version i love for like colors and stuff i also my friend found this one for me um before I found that yeah, that citrus one, this little yellow guy. Now this one's a little bit more limey. You can't really tell. They look exactly the same on the screen. But this little guy is so cute for a little shoulder option. This is also from Amazon. This one's like 30 bucks. And the leather actually feels like really nice. Like it feels like real leather. And it's such a little cutie. Comes in a bunch of colors. So if you're wanting to do that kind of colorful bag trend, I would grab some ones from Amazon and it's the perfect way to like incorporate a little bit of color into um, you know, your outfits without like investing crazy amounts of money. Okay, moving on. So got some accessories, some more accessories. And the other thing that I've been binging on is Amazon claw clips. And this is like literally the easiest way to just incorporate some colorful items into your outfit so i just literally got like one of every color i just like got a rainbow of claw clips i i'm not gonna show literally everything that i've gotten i'm just like picking out the things that i think are the best and like if you um want to follow along though our vlogs and uh, my instagram stories i just like i'm always hauling things as they come in so this is like just things i think you haven't seen um in vlogs or videos and stuff but i'm always sharing fashion so if you like this stick around follow along i'm always sharing this stuff this is just kind of like a roundup of things that i don't think i've, seen, I've shown yet these are so sick these are by the brand lace specs i got these at nordstrom they're on nordstrom.com obviously everything's linked below but i went into nordstrom and i think i tried on like a really expensive pair um they were like chloe or celine or something but they were kind of this rose gold fade and they looked amazing and then i saw these and these are under 100 and i'm like these are 
incredible. Like I am obsessed with them. So I love these so much. So fun with swimsuits. I'm gonna be wearing these on my trip. They also come in like a just a normal black aviator um frame if you don't want that fun fade style and these they're such a nice sunglass lace specs is like probably my favorite brand of sunglasses under 100 good quality good styles the shapes they look super expensive they last they're really amazing and then these guys i found recently on amazon so i have these vela oh wait no I have these sunglasses by Vela Eyewear. I think they're 150-ish dollars or something. They're really cool, super trendy. But I came across these on Amazon. I was like, those look pretty similar. So I ordered them. And they give the same vibe, same kind of feel, really cool. Um, I got a two pack. So this is like more of the yellow frame. And this is more of just like a chocolate color. So kind of similar look to these ones a little bit more like orange yellow but that's actually kind of the vibe right now is like that 70s thing so really cool if you want the look without sending the money like a ton of money cute yeah i love them okay so those are like some new sunnies i think some other ones i've shown another thing that is like the everything this summer is belly chains so you heard it here and telling just telling you now you guys you're gonna see it everywhere and you probably already are this one i got from windsor and it's so cute it's just like such a vibe super dainty and just so pretty so you'd probably want to wear it kind of lower but it's so cool i love them and i am ordering like a few different styles but i kind of wanted to get the feel for it and it's really cute. So if you want a belly chain, this one's from Windsor and I think it's like under 20 bucks. We're gonna end with Zara stuff. So let me get it. And I actually, I'll show you guys this stuff. Um, but a lot of it didn't fit as well as I was hoping for. So it's kind of a bummer. But the first thing I picked up was this little camo skirt and this is so cute but because i am short it's just a little bit long on me um so i'm gonna be returning it but i love the style i just wish that it fit me a little bit better unfortunately it didn't also really i know these printed leggings are really cute um they're kind of crazy and i was like i don't know if i can do that but then i was inspired to do it and i ordered these and i'll show you an outfit that kind of like mocks them up that how I would wear them but I don't know I just not like they're not the fit isn't like to die for on my body type um so I don't know if I'm gonna keep them but this is exactly how I'd wear them if I did do that I found this really nice linen button up let's see I got this in a medium and it says that perfect summer you know linen-y type of button-up really cute just to throw over things i love this classic summer staple and it's like really linen-y looking so i love the like crisp kind of more professional feeling ones but you also need linen for like over swim and it just i don't know you need all the different materials and i got these in a size eight and i'm normally like a four um so i just kind of like denim shorts uh, a little bit looser they're obviously naturally like a high-waisted fit so they're still a little bit high but a little bit more relaxed um and they're kind of perfect if you need like a nice little white denim short and that's okay so those are most of like the a lot of that other stuff is returned so it didn't really fit very well so i don't even want to show it because it's like not even worth it because it doesn't fit cute um but this little crochet top i thought was gonna be so cute i saw it on the website and then i got it and i was like i kind of feel like i'm going to the carnival like the red is cool but it's just a little bit intense and i love the crochet style but i tried to style it and i was like i just don't I couldn't really make it work. It might look cute with some other stuff, but I don't know. I just, it didn't knock my socks off. Sometimes I feel like if it's 
a bolder item it has to fit really well or it's not gonna happen for you because you could try your hardest to style it and if it doesn't fit well it's just not gonna work um some other things i got from zara are literally like every bright color of oversized button up like i mentioned you guys i wanted that green one but i ended up getting it from amazon because i couldn't get the green one but i got the yellow and the pink and this is a size medium and i really wanted it oversized like this um and i feel like this is like my number one summer staple is like a crisp shirt in literally every color humanly possible on the planet because you can style them so many different ways um like for dressed up outfits casual outfits uh over swimsuits they're just like the vibe so i love them this is the exact same fit in the pink and the yellow and then the other two colors that i couldn't get i got from mango so this really pretty cantaloupe color and again these are like a good price point they're like 30 ish dollars so i'm like i'm all set for the summer i have every single color um but honestly if you want to just like get every color you can go on amazon and get this this is like the exact same fit um and they make every single color pretty much so before i discovered that i had already ordered these they're a little bit like slimmer if you like that um this one i kind of got i got this in a large so you could probably get a men's small or medium and it would probably be just a little bit more fitted um but you get the idea. I also got this guy from Zara, which is a men's silk button up shirt. These are like kind of cool and like super on trend. And I am gonna be wearing this over a swimsuit. I love it, it's like super 80s. I got it in a large or an extra large. And as like a swimsuit cover up, I just think it's so cool. They have a lot of different styles, but I really liked the blues. But I forgot about this urban dress. This urban dress is really cute. This is also from Urban Outfitters. Okay, here is a little urban dress. And I honestly feel like, oh, I hate these little string things. I honestly feel like this looks like um, that brand Realization Par or whatever. It's really cute, small little floral print, and the, the material is so comfortable, you guys. Like, literally like buttery soft and it's so flattering little twist in the back the tag off um and just with like air force ones and some hoops or like a little necklace i just think it's the easiest little throw on dress and it's so pretty and if you want to dress it up you could just do like the white heels or something and it's really pretty so i'll probably wear this on my trip but really um, comfortable, affordable. I think comes in other patterns as well. This is kind of a random, um, it's not fashion, but I got this really cute Polaroid Go camera from Urban as well. And it is that really cute like film style camera. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen like film style photos. They're really cute on Instagram and they just give this really like vintage cool feel. So um, Urban has like a lot of Polaroid cameras, but this one is really nice and small and it also comes with like a strap so you can literally just like throw it around your neck for the beach um, or the pool or wherever you're going and then they also have the film. So I'll link this too. It's really cool for just like summer memories and Polaroids are just really special. They're like, you know, no one takes like real photos anymore so it's really cute and like a really good thing to have for summer. I think I'm going to tap out at that, you guys, because um, I, I'm going to save the rest to show on vacation. Everything else you pretty much have seen already in other hauls that I've done uh, on my channel um, and a few things I'm just saving for, you know, fun little surprise moments. So um, yeah, if you like this video, if you see anything else you're curious about, just go watch our other vlogs and hauls and stuff. You'll probably find it um, because I share this stuff all the time, but I don't wanna like overwhelm you anymore. This is probably already the longest haul ever, the biggest summer haul literally ever. And I'm so sorry, it was so casual, but I thought it would just be fun to show you guys some things. And it's, I feel like a really good mix of I showed you the best stuff that fits the best, the best price point, 
in swim accessories clothes you know stuff like that so um i hope that that helps you find something for your summer wardrobe have fun with it this summer lots of color and make sure you guys are following along our trip in florida for all the fun see the fashion we'll be vlogging and yeah enjoy your summer bye